When you tell people that you work at a zoo, their mind usually goes straight to the fun part. You work with animals that can't really be much work, right? Just playing with cool wildlife and taking care of them. I can't lie, when I'm working at a zoo, that's what I like to tell people about because that's what makes the experience special. But no, there is actually a lot a zookeeper does behind the scenes that needs to happen before the fun stuff, even before the public can enjoy their experience. Most of my day isn't spent with the animals, but behind the scenes, cleaning and raking and feeding out. The exhibits have to be clean, the public grounds have to be clean, the kitchen has to be clean. I also chop and weigh a surprising amount of food, and sometimes doing this work seems pretty monotonous. Sounds cheesy, but you have to remember that this basic work is what makes everything else possible. A lot of the animals at the Charles Paddock Zoo are on endangered species lists, and without that basic care, we wouldn't be able to make a larger difference in conservation. The zoo is actually a part of the American Association of Zoos and Aquariums, or AZA, which plays a role in regulating zoos and species management. The AZA also has a group of projects called SSPs, or Species Survival Programs, which helps manage endangered populations and find eligible breeding pairs. Here there are actually a lot of animals which are or have been a part of AZA's programs. Working closely with the CPZ staff has given me the opportunity to ask a lot of questions and the opportunity to get up close and look at how the zoo is centered around conservation and saving these species. I also get to interact with the public sometimes and tell them just how important it is to care for these animals. Zoos used to have a pretty bad reputation actually. They used to be displays of wealth and power, but today it's really different and that reputation needs to go because it's all about the animals and educating the public about them. Defending zoos to my friends and family is definitely not my favorite thing, but I believe that zoos are largely involved in the future of biodiversity on our planet. Because Charles Paddock is so involved with the AZA, working here has given me a closer look at the use of reproductive biology and behavior that goes into conserving these species. One step closer, right? As an honors graduate, I'm hoping to do research in a similar field, but in order to do that, I think it's super important to start from the ground up. Without that foundational knowledge in animal care and management, it would be impossible to give these animals the best chance. One of the greatest challenges when working at a zoo would be finding a balance between initiative and caution. Of course, you want to be able to do your tasks by yourself, and in some ways it seems like you've learned enough from enterprise and major courses to be able to apply the comparative biology of domestic and wild animals, but they're still wild animals. So being able to do work on your own here requires not only a big amount of caution and awareness, but you have to be smart. Everything you do has an impact on the animals, and the animals can also have a pretty big impact on you. That's why it's so important to listen to your superiors and pay attention to what they do. They know best and they want to teach you. Listening to them about their field and their experience gives me a lot of ideas and aspirations, as well as making sure I know how to handle myself properly with all of the animals. And there are a lot of different animals. At the end of the day, I usually come home covered in dirt, my feet are sore, my neck is sore, and I'm usually ready to take a nap. Zoo work can be really hard, and I'm barely scratching the surface. It makes me realize how much farther I have to go, you know? There's so much I want to learn about the animals I've been working with, where they come from, why they look and act the way they do, and how we as humans can do better to preserve their species. Zoo work is hard, but it's so, so important. At the end of the day, I may be covered in dirt, but I earned it. And it could not be more rewarding.